rock. And I just I love flying downtown Cleveland. That's the skyline in reflection of a uh, uh, rocket, well, rocket mortgage, rocket mortgage, mortgage, mortgage fuel house. Yeah. And I asked you earlier, for the, for, I asked you in front of the kids. I said you could sell these images. You know, yeah. you could make money on your photography. Um, somebody wanted to buy that image. They could do it on your website. I know that, but yeah. um, I've also seen. You have like puzzles. Yeah, and the calendar oh, too. Yeah, the puzzles. You know all that, the time. that people can make puzzles. You can take these images and make them into a puzzle. Which it's an online puzzle where you just take your mouse and you click around. And yeah. There's a cornfield that Jeff shoots, and that that's a puzzle. That's a neat one. Yeah, I'm kind of known for taking wicked above yeah. straight down pictures and uh, creating cool. puzzles out of them. Then I got to throw some easy ones. But that's like that one, hotel. I'm sure that one got turned into a puzzle because you just can't tell. Which way is that? That would make a cool puzzle. That's a Hilton down. I love puzzles. That's the Eaton Corporation in Beechwood. This is a fun little shot that I took a few years back. The Rock Hall, that was just recent. That was a. Uh, mm -hmm. That was that week July of twentieth. Yeah, the week of authorizations, and yeah. you're determined to get that photo. <laughs> that was the photo. <laughs> I had four straight days of authorization because this is actually in a restricted zone. It's, it's not an authorization right zone. Now, right off the edge of the runway of Berkeley Front Airport. Yeah. So, so the airplanes literally take off right behind the Rock Hall. So you gotta have, you gotta jump through a couple different hoops to get authorization there. I had four days of authorization because I wanted to. I wanted this picture. I wanted uh, the rock hall with a killer sunset behind it over the lake. And I think I got that on the third day, and on the fourth day, I stayed home, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. But you never know what you're going to get. I mean, like this. This was, uh, it was the same day. And there's one of those airplanes. And, well, no, that's a life flight. Oh, okay. That's a life flight helicopter above the uh, Sunset Brown Stadium. Again, you just got so now, if people were in the stadium, it would be a. This CFR would be an illegal photo. Of, of yeah. Do not fly area. Now, I actually have, and I think it is in this batch. I do have a picture with the Browns Stadium with people in it and the Browns on the football field because it was a preseason game. They don't uh, enact TFRs for preseason games. Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on, you've seen that. I've one. never seen that photo before. This is what they call a, a jackknife bridge. Uh, is it over the Cuyahoga? Yeah, and I didn't know that either. They're not being used anymore, so no. they just sit at an angle like this. So I just went up and, and matched that angle with my camera. Who's been downtown Cleveland before? Yeah, Anybody? Jacob's Anybody Pavilion. When you go downtown, there's a bunch of these bridges, you know, like this all over the place, and the city lights them up and makes them like architectural pieces. Yeah. They're so they're, they're kind of iconic. And he takes his racing drones and flies we, through the steel I'll barriers. dive my drone down there like oh, yeah. it's a video game. Yeah. No, you gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta, do you, do I, we have I, time to show them one of those? No, because there's water underneath. Oh, come on. <laughs> there's water underneath that, too. That's down in West Virginia. That's a new River Gorge Bridge. 879 feet from the, the deck to the water. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful area. Is this a national park? It is a national river. National river. Now, granted, you're kind of not supposed to fly there, but there are loopholes and whatnot on how you can do it. You can always contact the ranger and ask permission. Yeah, one of them is if you launch and land from private property within the national park, you can get yourself up in the air to take pictures like this. And, and that, that was the loophole that I used for this. I was launching and landing from a place called Adventures on the Gorge, where they rent the, the river raft rides. And uh, I was launching from their property to get that picture. That brings up another really interesting point. Um, oh, uh, I can't remember what it was now. I just had <laughs> That's the Fountain of Eternal Youth, I think they call it, in yes. Cleveland. That next picture she clicked to. Yeah. Of course, that's that got cool. turned. It, that got turned into a puzzle. Of course, that would make a cool puzzle. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about drones. It gives you the different perspective that you just never can't get that. any other way. Never seen that. You know, I call it a tripod in the air, and uh, yep. I take video, but I I mainly focus on stills. I I like creating stills that you know people just sit back and say, Hey, how the heck did you do that? How close? To, like, how close to that are you? Oh, the I'm drone or, or the I'm pilot? Probably a couple hundred feet away. Okay. The drone? 
No. But where's the pilot? No, where is he? Oh, okay. Picture. Okay. Yep. You gotta stay with the visual line of sight, yeah. in theory. You're not like standing right so, there. You know? no guy like I me, my I actually movie prefer movie. pictures that don't have cars, don't have people. Yeah. So a lot of times I'll go out first thing in the morning, Sunday morning in Sugar Falls is one of my favorite times to go because there's no cars, there's no tourists, there's no people. Uh, I personally don't like to be in my pictures. In fact, I just don't like clutter so to speak. Mm -hmm. Or even my drum mobile. My drum mobile will sneak into a couple of pictures at times because you're, you know, 400 feet up and getting a whole surrounding areas. But I, I like kind of empty pictures. Yeah, it's generally it's tacky. Preference. I think it's generally considered tacky to have yourself in, in the picture or in the video. I've been called out on that myself. So this is this is a construction job site. Those transformers actually were built in Korea, shipped through the Panama Canal to uh, New York, New Jersey Harbor, and then put on those trucks and trucked over to Lordstown, Ohio. Wow. Uh, they weigh 140,000 pounds each. I mean, you just want to talk about some. I look at this as an adventure. I get to go on adventures. I mean, how often do you see something like that? And I got paid to shoot that job. Yeah, it definitely brings opportunities that you don't normally get to do. That's Burton in the fall. A pretty picture. So, is Berkshire High School or? Yep. The, the yeah, they just got a new high school. Yeah. Is this their, where's their football field? Oh, their <laughs> high school is right up to the, the north way. past the. This, the this is the Kent. That's called. No, that's the Geauga County Fairgrounds. Up here, yeah. And, and their new school. school is just to the north of that, just on the horizon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right yeah, they just built a new one. And actually, I shot that school in construction for one of my clients. Now, this picture is actually... This is Saint, oh, close. This is St. Louis. Oh, yeah, the arch. There's the arch. It's 666 feet tall, or 660 oh, feet tall. I just wow. know the arch is cool. I love this. I was there. The at, snow. I was coming back from uh, Texas, and yeah, that was probably December twenty third, a couple of years ago, and I just caught a sunrise at the right time with that church, and that's really neat. Came out nice. That's my cousin's farm in West Virginia. On a seven degree morning. Oh, flying in the cold. Batteries don't like cold. You guys probably know that. You kids are, know all about batteries and technology. Yeah, batteries don't like the cold. There's a there's an event, so there's plenty of people in that picture. That's Blossom Time Out in Sugar Falls. That's me. Like I said, that's what I do. I take pretty pictures and pretty video. And this guy, oh my. Well, tell him about yeah, your, uh, what you did, what, TNT? Um, yeah, who's familiar? Who likes basketball? Anyone here like basketball? The NBA uh, All Star Game was in Cleveland last year. Um, it's covered by TNT Turner Network Broadcasting. Uh, they hired me to capture uh, drone footage so that they could use it for a couple music videos. So they made a uh, Kid Cudi mu music video and a Machine Gun Kelly music video, and they made four 10-second, what they call spots. They're like little teaser videos, and it was all made with my drone footage. It was like a dream come true. And it was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if we have time for a uh, FPV video, I'd like to show them the footage from that. Oh, you want, did you give her the meeting? Well, we could just go online. I can find it. Does that have uh, sound? Uh, a little bit, yeah. That's great. Yeah, when we're done with the pictures, just go to YouTube. Yeah, we probably only got a couple more. This is uh, ASM. ASM International. Yeah. Has so anyone seen this? Geodestric, Joan, this, this is in Ohio. This is a really cool place to go look. Over Novelty. There's a really cool um, garden in it, if you guys like that sort of thing. And they yeah, encourage perfect. people to walk the grounds. They do. Yeah. It's a business, and you're allowed to just go there and hang out and fly, and fly drones. You got a question? Yeah, um, how long do the uh, batteries last? Like, how long do you in the new Mavic 3s, we usually get about 30 minutes. And, and again, technology is advancing you know, so much daily, pretty much. Now, uh, this is a high-performance drone, yeah. so it's the exact opposite. This lasts three and a half minutes. Yeah. So he's got to get up, get his shot, and 
get back down. So I'll show up to a, a gig with like 10 batteries charged, and I'll just throw, fly what we call a pack, a battery pack. I'll fly pack after pack after pack. And as I'm flying, I'll bring um, a charger with me, and I'll charge the batteries that I've just eliminated. These so are, I can just keep going all These are the Mavic 3 batteries. I carry six of them, and they're only $210 for a battery. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My yeah. batteries are about thirty dollars a piece, <laughs> but I have a lot more of them. Yeah. That's cool. That's the uh, that's the flats. That's the fireboat. They're replacing the fireboat this year. They're getting a brand new fireboat. Uh, it's in construction. They actually should be getting it in about another month or so. It's nice. And, uh, so you should go down Did and take pictures of that. With them? Did you no, I was just them? flying around and I saw they they have a uh, Christmas in July boat parade mm. and we were down there and we were just in the area and we were wanting to see the boat parade and they just happened to, they leave the boat parade so they, they were going up and down the river just with their little water guns going and just timed it out right. The funny thing about that picture, if you go back real quick, a couple of days after I took that picture, the wife of the boat captain calls me up and says, I want to buy this picture from you. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you can't buy it. I said, I'm going to give it to you because it's his, his picture. It's his boat, you know. So she wanted to surprise him with it so he could hang it in his man cave at home and then go down at the firehouse. So I, I gave her the image, and I said, take it down to Walgreens and print it out and do what you want to do with it, right? And the next day, he called me and wanted to buy that image. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Did you try to double? <laughs> I actually had to stall him because it took her a couple of days to get it all printed out and surprise him with it. But, and, and now they're kind of friends of mine. That, that's a great thing for me about what I do. I meet so many great people. It's, you know, Scott Rebar, you know, I met him years ago. It, it's just an adventure that I enjoy going on. So you can move on to the next one. We can get rid of these pictures and get some action going, huh? Of course, that's Sheila's lighthouse out there. What's that on the right? That's a nuke plant. The smoke? That's yep. a steam that's coming steam. out of the Perry nuclear plant. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Yeah. Again, early morning, you got the sun yeah. shooting straight through the, the lighthouse. Now, I've been a photographer since I was 16. I was going to say, when we used to say the national anthem in school, I think our flag only had 13 stars. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's, uh, I still call it Jacob's Field at night. That picture was taken at midnight, actually. Empty stadium. Which, actually, I think we're going to come up to the picture of the football stadium full of people pretty soon. Yep, there it is right there. Preseason game, huh? Yeah. You can see the Browns on the football field, and the stadium is full of people. There is no T and there is no TFR, so we were able to uh, get fairly close to the stadium and get those cool mm -hmm. pictures. Even if there is no TFR, right? It can glue directly over the stadium. Yeah, you don't want to be like the guy down in Cincinnati. Oh my God, they had some guy flew right into an active game. I mean, he was on the sidelines and everything with the drone. And I never did hear what they did to him. Yeah, I they never. Heard I didn't either. They kept they kept it very quiet. That I mean, it's used common sense. You don't want to fly over people because you don't want your drone falling out of the sky. I mean, this is going to kill you. Yeah. It's going to hurt you pretty good. When you when you get excited and you're not paying attention and your battery starts to die on the drone, it's supposed to auto return home. But under the right circumstances, it, it may not, and it may just want to land right where it is. And if it's over an active field uh, ba a football game and your drone's trying to land itself, there's nothing you can do. I mean, it's a terrifying situation to be in, so you just don't put yourself in that situation. This is a steel mill up in uh, Cleveland. That's the uh what do they call it? Slag coming out of the side of the steel mill. It's like molten lava. Just thought it was a cool picture. You gotta get one of a volcano next. Yeah, there you go. Let me borrow your drone. That's the Indianapolis racetrack.